Okay, we're recording, and now we're going to go live onto Facebook. So we'll wait. Oh, there we go. Okay, preparing the live stream with me. I think we're going out on Facebook. Okay, so hi, everybody. How are you? It's, uh, it's Monday, and so therefore it must be time to spend with a bunch of nice people, which is uh, really decent. Okay, let me see here. Oh, uh, boy, I'm, I'm I'm sniffling today. I've got like, there's something out there. Uh, Marjorie has the same thing. Uh, we're waiting. Uh, we got a couple. Only two people have uh, uh, are ready to go here. Not even Marjorie has done anything yet. So. What did I do to my head here? Uh, I love these high def cameras. Okay. Anyway, let me uh, let me at least admit uh, Edward Berger and uh, Mike Chisholm. Uh, let's see here, Edward Berger. Let's see here. There we go. There's Mike Chisholm. And uh, so, uh, is that in your home where you are, uh, uh, Mike? This is the this is my podcast studio. You bet. This is your podcast studio. Yes, sir. Oh boy. I hate the term, <laughs> I hate the term podcast. I know you do, man. I just hate it. You know. Uh, what else, well, okay, what should I call it? What should you call it? Uh your uh your hobby. Yeah. Yeah, your yeah. hobby. Right. So yeah. I'm hanging out in my hobby talking to you today, buddy. Yeah. I mean, are you making a lot of money off your podcast? No. Well, no, according not. to the government, at least in America, in the government, it's a hobby. For sure. Well, it, it's a little more complex with my the app that my wife is building, the Men's Mental Wellness app mm -hmm. that she's building. It's, it's a tech company that's growing and doing all sorts of things. I host the official podcast for it, and it's content creation for that app. So, Wait, oh, my gosh, Marjorie's in your room. Keep saying invalid. Yeah, there's something, there's something wrong with the Facebook uh, thing. What? There is, is Marjorie's yeah. in your room. Hold on a second. Let me just uh, let me just go here and see what we put up here. <laughs> Hi, I, everyone. I, I wonder Hi, Marjorie. why there wasn't anybody. Yeah. There are some people, however, that already know the yeah. Uh, ID. Uh, let me let me. Well, it, what do you do? Let me see here. What happens if I join meeting? Then well, it says uh, meeting ID. Huh. Cancel. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, this is, you know, it's always something, isn't it? I <laughs> used the same link I always <laughs> used, and it was no problem. No problem? Yeah, same link. No. Yeah, it's the one on Facebook. It's the problem. It's the one on Facebook that's yeah. the problem. Go yeah. to yeah. go to go yeah. to uh, Your website. Go to gabnet.net yeah. and click okay. on that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing. With, well, I, let me see here. Let me let me see what I gotta do here. Do you want me to post the link in Facebook? Huh? Do you want me to post the link in Facebook? Well, I have a link here. Hold on. A okay. Second. Hold on. Uh, let me see here. Where, where's my, uh, where's my link thing here? Uh, oh, that's what happened. Okay. All right. I'm gonna change it now. I. It, what happened was I, I cut and paste, and it pasted one less. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, oh. Uh, yeah. So here we go. Uh, da, 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 paste and I go post and uh, there we go. Um, okay, would like to add you what? No, you, 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 uh, Shecky, go back and well, he's my camp here. Me, uh, what is this? Um, that move the trash that one. Okay, now if they try it, it should be fine. Okay. So anyway, where do we go? There's Marjorie. Okay. Hey, see here, here's Marjorie. And uh um uh, let me see here. Uh, I could call Sh wait a hold a second. I'll do this. Watch it. Okay. I just sent Shecky the uh link. Oh, oh, did you send him the link? Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm here. You're here? Okay. What was that all about? Well, no, what happened was I I cut and paste a regular thing that says, you know, whatever, and then the, the address and everything. And I put it on the Facebook page. Well, I cut and pasted it shy one <clears throat> number. And so it didn't work. Okay. Kept asking me for my ID. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, so Shecky, oh, here, well, here comes Charlie. Charlie now does it. See, I don't know that everybody uses that, but if you ever have- I go right to Facebook. Huh? I usually get it on Facebook. Yeah, you usually get it on Facebook. I, I post it there and I posted it was one digit short. So, oh, uh, the unforgiving world of- uh, of. Uh, <laughs> Of electronics. Of electronics, yeah. Hello, Charlie. How you doing? Hello, Hi. Charlene. Hello, Len. Hello, sir. Hello, uh, uh, Mike. Hello, Edward. That's right. And I, <laughs> I, I yeah. Well, you sent she Shecky the right address, but he doesn't seem to be coming in at all. Oh, well. Hmm. Anyway. He's calling another show. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, uh, 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 I'm sorry, everybody, if you're having trouble doing this see i'm talking to people that probably aren't able to well they can watch it i guess on face yeah i was watching it yeah i couldn't get on but i was watching yeah and then you heard that i was correct they asked you for, charlie yeah. did they ask you for your id yeah it said invalid meeting id that's what i kept getting. yeah well it wasn't an invalid meeting id because it was short one number See, so. Well, don't let that happen again, Mr. Oh, shut up. I'm <laughs> old and I make mistakes, okay? <laughs> I double click on this thing and it supposedly should do the whole row, but it didn't, okay? So okay. Then go, and then I click on it and then it says here, click here to zoom. And uh, I assume that, that it's working, you know, but that's, that's a valid address, but apparently it does it even if it isn't a valid address, so whatever so anyway hello everybody how are you are you good yeah yeah anybody here play video games you do uh i uh i know you know. you know something if i if you really could get into them you might really enjoy them wait a minute here it comes um yeah here comes shecky yeah hello shecky there he is. i forgot how to sign in no, 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 no. No, no, no. It was no, It wasn't your fault. You went you went to the Facebook page, right? And clicked on the I must have. I don't know what I did. Yeah. And then yeah. I remembered, like, oh, wait a minute, you go to Gabnet, whatever. Yeah. You know. Well, well it, it, I, I got I put in the wrong address today. It was oh. shy, it was shy one number and screwed everybody up. Oh, so it wasn't my fault? No, no it, it wasn't was your fault. fault. No. Anyway, so I, 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 so so Mike plays video games. I do too. I, you know, I mean, I have a limited number that I play, but I, I play video games. So well, I have been. Toy, Alex. What? Tell me about your new toy. Well, I'm just what I'm going to tell him. Yes, oh. but his new toy is going to be worth a lot more money in two years. No, it's Check. actually worth a lot more money right now. Check. Here, here's what happened. Let me explain, please. <laughs> What? Look, Shecky's not showing his face. Well, he, he's he's half there left us. Okay. Anyway. So anyway, <laughs> but uh, I guess it was six months ago. Uh, I was uh, I was look I was just lusting after a PS5, which is the latest PlayStation, and I uh, went on Amazon and they said uh, sign up for the waiting list. You know, and so for six months, I didn't hear anything. And then the other day, I got a thing that says you have 37 hours to reply to this <laughs> and get yourself a PS5. Yeah. And it was at the retail cost. It was a, a game bundle, but it was a retail cost. And I got my uh, my PS5 yesterday. Congratulations. Yeah. Yes. And, it, and tell them, Mike, how rare are they? How hard are they to get? Yeah, they're extremely rare and have been for over a year now. Maybe um, more than that. Yeah. The the yeah the wait lists have been uh, are still extreme all around the chip shortage, all of that stuff that's happening, oh. and it's uh, Sony can't sell them fast enough. Well, they get rid of every one they make. Is yep. pretty much what's happened here. Did you get one with a disc drive, or was it just with, internal with, it, with the disc drive? Yeah. That's what I got too. Yeah. 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 How hard was it for you to get? Oh man, <clears throat> my luck. Uh, I had a really, really lucky thing one day. I was walking through Best Buy to go through to the mall yeah. to uh, to go to a, a tailor to get something altered. And uh, as I was walking through, the Best Buy lady walks up to me and she says, "Hey, uh, can I 
do you need anything? And I looked at her and I said, yeah, if you have a disk drive PS5, I'll take it. This is last August. So a year yeah. ago, August. Wow. She goes, oh, come with me. And I look at her, I'm like, what? She goes, yeah, we're not allowed. We don't put them out on the floor. And we, uh, we, we, we have this policy where we need, if people ask for one, they'll have it. And they had eight of them. And I immediately bought one and it was, yeah. uh, it was a good day. And how much wow. you paid, you paid 500 bucks for it, right? Yeah. Everything came out to, well, it's Canadian, right? So it came out to about a thousand dollars Canadian, which is, I think, cause I did a bundle as well. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think it's about 750 us. Yeah. was about the price. Yeah. So anyway, uh, mine came to, well, $600 with taxes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and it was a bundle with some stupid game. I don't ever want to. Ratchet and Clank? No, I don't know what it's called. All right. <laughs> something. Horizon something or. Oh, whatever. yeah, yeah, yeah. And and anyway, uh, I uh, uh, went online to see how much I could turn around just today and sell this for. Even used. It's like 850 bucks. Yep. You know, uh, so, you know, it uh, it's worth more right now than it was when I bought it. And they have a deal where, where you can't, it's only one to a family. Okay. Huh. Obviously, the Colombo family must be huge because they get thousands of them and then they price, bring the price up. Anyway. But anyway. What are you playing? What game are you playing? Well, I've been playing my old game that I had, but I just got the new version of the same game. So I'm going to have to start it from the beginning. Which is game? this. The Last of Us. Oh, The Last of One. Us. Nice. They took Very this nice. game. This game was done in 2004. And the original was state of the art at the time, right? Played on the PS4. And then uh, they came out with their next version, a new game, part two. And it, uh, it, uh, it was pretty damn good. The graphics were terrific. This thing, they went back to the original game and redid all the graphics. Yeah. And it is spectacular. Oh, I mean, it's good like for you. it's like you're playing, you're playing a movie. Yep. You know, and now here comes the here comes the big deal. You know how much this costs? It's just you know, it's just a just a disc. Okay. $69. 69 yeah. bucks. Oh yeah. Saying, <laughs> oh, you, you, all you people out there go, ooh, that's a lot of money, isn't it? Well, if you think about it, if Marjorie and I go to the movies, yeah, between the cab to get us there, mm. the sodas oh. and the popcorn, and the cost of the movie, we'll spend well over sixty nine dollars. Okay, and this gives me more entertainment value for a longer period of time, plus the fact it probably costs them a million dollars to make it. But do you know how much this game in its original version made to that company? Over a billion dollars. What? I've never heard of it. I've never even heard of it. The video game industry is so big. The video games make more money than movies. Well, yeah. then all entertainment combined, not just movies, everything. Well, not everything. Yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure hookers, you, you know. I wonder if porn <laughs> makes more money than video games. Huh? I wonder if porn makes more of it money. No, than video porn games. doesn't make the money it used to because you who pays for porn anymore? Yeah, it's all free now. It's all free. <laughs> yeah. But this thing uh, made uh, uh, the original version over a billion, and this is going to make a fortune because it is so gorgeous. Everybody wanted that's why I wanted a PS5 so I could play this. Hmm. Okay. I better go get it. Um, it's really, uh, it's amazing. It's an amazing industry uh, that, you know, you don't think it's as, you know, bigger than movies. Yeah. You know, what, can you name a movie last year that made a billion? I think the, the last one you can remember is like Avatar. Spider-Man. Yeah. Oh, Spider Pinocchio. Oh, yeah, Pinocchio. <laughs> yeah. Have, is it, did you watch it at all, all the way through? No, I didn't even start it. Huh? Didn't even start it. Didn't even start it. Okay. It's terrible. Terrible. Tom you Hanks could be. What, what's happened to Tom Hanks's career? You know? First, He's making money. First the Elvis yeah. thing and now Pinocchio. You know. 
But uh, anyway, so, uh, you know. Uh, uh, He's Robert De Niro. I'll do anything for money. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, everybody goes, Robert De Niro, great American actor. When's the last time he did a great movie? Back guys up. get old. Hmm? <laughs> you know, a lot of them have stopped working. Yeah. Uh, well, well, there's a what? lot of middle America who love the Fokker movies. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. They loved him in that. He's probably more well known for that yeah. than Raging Bull. Yeah. Yeah. Taxi driver. Yeah. Godfather. That's mine. Yeah. But, you know, what the hell? So, anyway, I went out to Shecky's house the other day. Uh oh. Stumbling out there, lightheaded and everything. We finally decided what I needed was food in my stomach. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyway, I went out because Shecky had trouble with his TV set. So we got it going. And Alex fixed it. Wow. Oh. Why is everybody amazed that I fixed something? <laughs> <laughs> no. Did you went all the way? I would not have been out. able to do it, obviously. Did he, charge you, did he charge you for a home call or what? <laughs> I bought him lunch. He bought me lunch. Yeah. But, Where are you uh, buying me lunch, Shecky, next week, huh? <laughs> we'll uh we'll we'll figure it we'll do something in my neighborhood yeah absolutely yeah, we're we're gonna come up to harlem yeah marjorie right. make a make a uh, uh make a what do you call it a reservation for uh the one we go to all the time you know <laughs> uh, harlem maison no 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 <laughs> down the street yeah what yeah. day Monday. Monday. What's the Len, day? You're there on Monday? What, what happened yeah. on Monday night or Monday? No, for, we'll do it for lunch, I guess. Huh? For lunch. And then I got to run back here and do this show. Oh, I'd like to come back and join you. Okay. Yeah. You probably sit right in back. I'm there on Monday, month. too, man. Are you really? I, I we, we take the red eye tomorrow night to New York. Oh, shit. We're, take, we're taking the red eye on Saturday. We'll be there I mean, as well not do a show on Monday. Nobody will be here to be able to do it. <laughs> They'll all be in your apartment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's big enough. I don't think they do lunch. They don't do lunch? Okay, well, we'll find some other place in our neighborhood. Well, right next to Harlem, uh, what's the one? The we're staying at 49th and 9th, and it's a straight shot up the, the uh, what do you call it, the, the, the subway up there in the 1, 116th in Harlem, I think it is. Or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. We'll find something nearby here. Okay. Anyway, and then Shecky's going to kind of come in for that, Shecky? As long as I can walk, yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, I don't know if I can walk. I'm, I'm having trouble these days. Wow. But I did okay the other day, I guess, you know. But I, everybody went, like his, his, one of his best friends went, Alex fixed it? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> To begin with, I've done this all my life. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, having to put together TV sets and TV systems and so on for myself and so on. And I've learned there's a simple thing to learn. And that is that everything is in relationship to everything else. And what you have to do is whatever's wrong, you have to go through a process of elimination till you finally figure out what it is. And it was an on off switch. Oh, geez. It was a power strip <laughs> that was off. Oh, no. And I should have, if I was actually, if you want to put me down for something, I should have known this immediately. The minute I saw that his his Roku wasn't on and his uh, Apple TV wasn't on, that there was something that wasn't getting juice. Right. Okay. But I didn't, it didn't hit me because to begin with, we, it took us a while to find his Roku, which was on the floor somewhere in back of the TV. <laughs> so, you know, so it wasn't the first thing that became apparent, but as soon as I saw those two things and neither of them were lit up, I went, well, there's something wrong with the, with the power here somewhere. And there was one power supply that I clicked on and off and it was on. And I went to the other one and sure enough, it was off. I turned it on. All his stuff worked. Great. All of a sudden, I'm a miracle maker, <laughs> you know, and but all his friends go, Alex fixed your set. 
Well, there was nothing wrong with the set. It's not like I had to put it up on the bench, take it apart, put in some fuses and things like that, and put it back together. I just had to find the switch. that, w- And that's what happens here, too. You know, I'll, I'll be going for an hour going, why isn't this working? Why isn't this working? And all of a sudden, I look down and, oh, that, that power strip switch is bad. That's what I hate about power strips, by the way, is the fact they do have an on-off button. And they don't and they don't light up, so you don't know they're off. That's so, right. Sometimes they sometimes they light up, sometimes yeah. they don't. But the thing is, what's a power switch there for anyway? You know, I mean, it, 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 you're going to want it on if you've got something plugged into it, right? So you should be able to buy them without a power switch. But I can't tell you how many times, you know, I have to put tape over a power switch so it won't move. Yeah. Because I've got under here, God, just in my eye view, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I guess in that apartment, it's not exactly set up for a lot of electronics. Yeah. Oh, right. in this apartment, we had to actually put in extra plugs in this mm-hmm. studio. I'm sure. Because um, we didn't have enough plugs. And if I put too much stuff on at the same time, the fuse downstairs blows. Oh, geez. Yeah. Well, the I mean, building was built in 1900. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, for for the first year that we were here, Marjorie forgot she couldn't she couldn't run the toaster and the microwave at the same time. Wow. Otherwise, it blows, you know. And they is it, it, is it the old fuses? It's like screwing fuses? No, it, it there we have a what do you call it, a panel in the wall that's got this switches mm. occasionally those will flip okay fine that i could live with that but normally it's a big giant mother fuse downstairs <laughs> in the basement not fuse but switch that you got to turn on and back on right and usually after the time when they will go home so there's nobody down there uh, yeah geez. yeah yeah so i mean i know where it is if they just give me a key to down there i could always go down and and do it <laughs> you know but what the hell you know but anyway so uh today's columbus day and indigenous american day and yeah. sukkah right. and god knows what else <laughs> <laughs> why it's is it indig- indigenous american day i mean i will because agree columbus with- is Colum- columbus is a racist yeah well i don't think he was a racist I just no. Well, no. Explorer. Well, how can you be racist against the people you haven't met yet? You know, he was. Well, they're just saying he didn't discover anybody. They were already here. Well, that's that's this. Th- no, that you have to blame on American history teaching, where it's yeah. you know where they say uh, who discovered America, and you and know, he never came to America, North America. No, he never reached that's right. True. But they, but they, but the question in school was when I was in school, who discovered America? Yeah, same. And if you didn't say Columbus, like if I said Leif Erikson, they go, well, he just was off course. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, and, and, and then if I say it, uh, you know, he didn't really discover America because you can't discover something when there are already people here, you know, they discovered it when they came across the, uh, Bering Sea or wherever that is. But Alex, didn't Columbus go to an island? Yeah. He actually, la- he landed, what, in Puerto Rico? Hispaniola, isn't it? Hispaniola, yeah. yeah. Well, Hispaniola was what? Puerto Rico? Haiti. No, Haiti. Haiti or Dominican Republic. Yeah. yeah. The second trip, he came back to, and he was on mainland mm. on his second trip. And on his third trip, he went home and they put him in jail. <laughs> so much for discovering the new world. You know. And what did he bring back? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. We were watching. <laughs> Uh, who was it we were watching and they were doing a big deal about how all these people oh yeah john oliver with columbus day and people saying stuff about him and how wonderful he was and the last one said and besides he brought back the potato to europe (laughs) (laughs) oh good starches he brought starches (laughs) and probably diseases yeah, I thought you were talking about that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it was amazing. It just amazing. Uh, but it, 
we, we were taught these things in school, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. it, 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 who knows, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're taught these things in school and uh, uh, we were meant to believe them. And you had to, you had to, if they asked you who discovered America, you had to say uh, Columbus. If you didn't, you were wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Well, Columbus did some pretty awful things. I mean, he did not treat the Native Americans as as human beings. Well, nobody did. Hmm. They. I mean, he killed them left and right, and he raped them. And <laughs> yeah, well, they lived a rather primitive life here, but it was a simplified life, you know. And and it, there was nothing. It was no, the notion that people who didn't uh, have a have uh, some kind of uh, uh, urban attitude or whatever, and were a, a primitive in their nature, uh, were necessarily primitive. I, quite frankly, I think they were living a life that today I wish we, we probably wish we all could live. Well, they mm. respected the land and they said the land belongs to everybody. Yep. And Columbus agreed with that. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I mean, there were other people who came here who did the same thing, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but America Vespucci supposedly is the one who actually physically came on land here first of the Europeans. So the question should really be not who discovered America, but who was the first Euro European to come to America and, and discover that people lived here and so on and so forth. And then the answer would be probably America Vespucci because Columbus was wrong on everything. I'm surprised that, you know, he didn't fall off the end of the earth. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It's amazing. Well, he thought he was in India. Of, they're trying to get rid of Columbus Day as a national holiday. Well, it's Indigenous American Day now. Oh, yeah, they just renamed yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Are they, now they're supposed to be called Indigenous Americans? Americans, Indigenous Peoples Day. Where do we... Oh, I guess we called them Indians because he thought he, he was. He thought he was in India. India. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, couldn't he tell the difference? Well, I mean, come on. <laughs> didn't somebody go to India? I can't believe that somebody didn't tra traverse uh, uh, going to India over land mass. It didn't take a boat to get there. It took a boat to get here, but it didn't, you know. That, that was the whole point of Columbus is because it would feel economically easier if he could sail to India instead of going across the land. I see. Goods back and forth. Where did he so, take a wrong turn? <laughs> so he thought he was doing a great thing. Did he you know when he got to the United States and there no, were no Bollywood movies? <laughs> Just, what did he used to say? India, wop wop, and India. <laughs> it, it, it was it was at my friend Albert, Albert who came up with. I said Indian, and he said Mumbai or woo woo. <laughs> and of course, the the number one Indian joke is why do they have a dot right here? And that's from store owners going, get the hell out of my store. <laughs> yeah. So. Gee, if I if I actually had a career going, would that have just ruined it? Probably. <laughs> huh? oh, fine. Oh. And I suppose my joke about women doesn't count either. No, it doesn't. You know the one I'm talking about? Why do women have periods? <laughs> because they deserve it. Oh. oh. Okay, let's see here. Uh, uh, I, I, I want to be careful, Alex. I want, I want people to. I want people to yell at me. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, uh, how's everybody doing? How are you doing up there in Canada, Mike? It's Thanksgiving, so it's great. Oh. It's Thanksgiving. It's your it's yeah. your Columbus Day. It's our Thanksgiving Day today. Yeah. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Why don't you celebrate it at the same time we do? Early harvest, my friend. 
Our uh-huh. leaves are so beautiful right now and harvest is happening and uh, up north it happens faster up here. Well, let me ask you something uh, because it's at that time of the year. Do you do you people have pumpkins up there? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Saturday we were over at a friend's house doing pumpkin carving with our granddaughter. It was tremendous. Yeah. Well, who was it uh, on uh, Sunday morning? Shark Tank. Huh? No. Tank. No, no, no. That that was a thing they were, but this was on Sunday morning. And what's his name? The comedian. Jim Gafferty. Jim Gaffer Gaffigan. Gaffigan. Uh, was was saying, oh, I don't know about you, but I hate pumpkins. <laughs> he said they're totally useless. He said, What do you make out of them? And I I yelled at the screen, pumpkin pie, pumpkin which pie. is wonderful. You know. But is pumpkin soup is tremendous as well. Am I wrong about this? But are pumpkins the crop they plant after the yearly harvest? Probably. It, and it's they grow quick, really fast. They grow really fast, and then they they you know they're ready by October. You know. Um, so anyway, I just thought I would mention that. Well, <laughs> anybody else got anything? <laughs> well, oh, I watched. I watched most of the patient. Good call. The patient. Great show. It's going to win every award this year. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, we finished Dahmer. That was amazing. Dahmer? Dahmer. I, heard it, I heard that was terrible. I, I liked it. I thought it was I well done. I started watching it. I couldn't even finish the first episode. You know, the first episode didn't grab me either. By the third, it was better. But yeah. it was an interesting insight into that person's... Well, The Patient life. stars uh, Steve Carell. It's mm-hmm. on Hulu. And they're only a half hour each, so they're really easy to watch. But yeah. it's an FX original. Yeah. It's a Hulu original made by FX. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But no, it doesn't say Hulu original, does it? Yes, it does. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, it's just about a, a guy who's a shrink, and he gets kidnapped by the serial killer who is, has been a patient of his, but he didn't know he was a serial killer. And he chains him to the wall down in his basement and wants to, you know, the doctor to see him every day. Mm. <laughs> and and so it, it 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 it's called the patient, and it's incredible. It is it's just incredible. Really? Uh, just well written, well acted, well thought out, you know. He it's got a beginning, bored. middle, and an end. It's not a, it's, there won't be a season two. We have no idea. We're not at the last episode yet. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, I think there are two more episodes left. I don't know if I'd want to see another year of that. <laughs> you know, it's so perfect the way it is, you know. Yeah. But with television, if it gets really good numbers and good reviews, they'll go with another year. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, We'll have to see how the last episode ends. If he's still chained to the wall, I guess there is going to be another year, you know. But I wouldn't want to see that. I, I enjoy it just like it is, you know. And then the worst show, I don't know why anybody it can even say this is a good idea. House of Dragons, the Game of Thrones sequel. <laughs> Or prequel, prequel. Or, or quill. <laughs> it, it's su- am I right, Charlie? It sucks. No, I love it. Really? <laughs> like it's, a, it's on best show on TV right now. You're, you? it, <laughs> no, the trial is. T- believe me. <laughs> I watched this thing last night, and I sat there. Every episode is at least an hour. Last night it was an hour and seven minutes, and it was the king dying. And I never saw a drama that was as boring as last night's episode. Well, I haven't seen it yet, so. Oh God, I was I. It was all I could do to like fast forward. You know, I figured I could fast forward through any particular scene which went on forever, and boom, boom, boom. Eventually, you know, uh, I'd get through it. But I couldn't bring myself to do it. I said, I've got to watch it every minute of it. Otherwise, I can't sit around and complain about it, all right? <laughs> but I, I just don't see, how does that show a good idea? Different strokes for different folks. But, don't, but nothing happens. And, and every week, it's another 10 years. Yeah. You know, and it's just, 
come on. And then they got a guy, they got a guy, there's a guy who gets his his eye cut out, right? And and then he grows up. And was it your, was it my imagination, or did he look a lot like, what's his name, Doctor Who? Uh, well, uh, Matt, Smith, Matt Smith stars in the show. But yes, get- but, but, the, but the guy who plays the guy with his eye cut out looks just like Matt Smith. Oh, Matt Smith. Yeah. So anyway, I, I just, I, I, I just, I just can't figure out what anybody sees in that show. So now Charlie will tell me what he sees in it. I enjoy it. I enjoy that. I thought I would be put off when they change all the actors and act. You know, everybody grew up, but I, I, I kind of got attached to those. Characters. Oh, I was happy when they changed the cast because they got rid of that ugly girl. Oh, I loved her. That's one of the things I was mad about. Yeah. Talking about Rhaenyra. I, I loved her. That little girl. Huh? Yeah. But she grows up to look like somebody that she wouldn't grow to be up. But it would grow up I know. To look the actor really doesn't look anything like her. So I don't yeah. Know. Yeah. But ev- and everybody, every week, they, they replace half the cast with another half the cast because yeah. another five years or 10 years have passed by and they have to hire people that look more the age. And I just don't, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't get that show. <laughs> now I am watching the Lord of the Rings thing and it's kind of good. It's okay. But no, <laughs> and you know, it's back. You know, it's back. Checky. Pennyworth. Pennyworth is back. They have three I episodes. I watching that two years ago. What? I stopped watching that. Why? Just didn't care. It didn't care. Oh, okay. All right. All right, I'm just telling you, it's back and it's good. The guy was a secret agent. Now he's a butler, huh? No, he's not a butler yet. <laughs> yes. No, I mean in, in character. Yeah, but he's he, not playing a butler on the show. But the character becomes a butler. It's more like a like a British Secret Service kind. Of, it reminds me a lot of James Bond in a lot of ways. You know, um, this guy had a, has a real Michael Caine esque. Or about it, definitely. and I think the new the new me- episodes are it's interesting, it's very interesting. You know, well, because as it gets more towards, it's about are you are you all familiar what it's about? No. Uh, it it it's about um, uh, Bruce Wayne's butler, Al- Alfred Pennyworth, who's Bruce Wayne's butler, but what he did before he was Bruce Wayne's butler, and this has Thomas Wayne and Martha Wayne and all of that uh, in it. And yeah, they're zombies. No, that was that was his, <laughs> that was in later. what's her name show. Um, what what? Cat, Nick, uh, not Catwoman. Um, Harley Quinn. Nick, Harley Quinn. Yeah, no, Harley Quinn. Well, yeah. you know, in the in the Batman lexicon, uh, is that the right word? I don't know. I'm, I'm you're, you're English right. is becoming a second language with me. You'll have to excuse me. <laughs> what's your first language? <laughs> Uh, it's whatever a this to say gibberish is I'm speaking jumble, jumble. yeah anyway um <laughs> she um uh uh the the, the uh, Martha Wayne and uh, Thomas Wayne are murdered in an alley in the eyes and view of their son all right and that he then grows up and becomes Batman that's the whole history right so I mean how hallowed is that moment it's been portrayed any number of times where, you know, Thomas Wayne and Martha Wayne are coming out of, I don't know, some Broadway show. No, the Mark of Zorro. The, the Mark, Mark of Zorro, Zorro yeah. was that it? Okay. Yep. And 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 all of a sudden uh they they get attacked and uh, she her pearls get ripped off of her. I mean, it's all part of the whole history. And and you don't screw with that. This is this is the holy sea of of comics. Okay, this moment. And um, on Harley Quinn, they decide that Batman wants to bring his parents back, so he brings them back, and they're zombies. <laughs> and I found that um, ah, food delivery. Food delivery. She gotta go get our food. <laughs> this is how she shops for dinner now. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, I just thought it was like complete comic strip heresy which was wonderful just wonderful 
anyway. Uh, but uh, they're, they're kind of playing around with the mythos here because Thomas Wayne and Martha Wayne have a daughter on the new show. And I'm trying to wonder how, how that is that daughter going to get killed because they got to make way for Bruce, right? It was the yeah. only child, right, of the Waynes. So why do I know this much about comic books? I shouldn't <laughs> really care. Because they're delightful. Because they're delightful. Yeah. You're, you're a big comic fan, right? Gigantic comic book fan, yeah. Yeah, you collect them. <clears throat> I uh, I used to collect them as a child. Um, I get the hard covers now for the stories, but uh, I don't get the monthly anymore. Right, right. How do, how are they selling these days, Rick? Because you know the people over at DC. The people at DC are in California now, so no, I do not know them. They're not in New York any longer? Wow. No, they're Burbank. Warner Brothers. Oh, wow. Yes, of course. Of course. But prior to being bought up by... by they were across the street from Letterman. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. You used to go over there once a week and get pick up all the comic books, and right? And things like yeah. that. Yeah. And then I would sit there, you know, going, who the hell buys this crap? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you, you're, better, you're better off buying the trade editions because they're, in a sense, they're cheaper. What, the trade edition? What do you mean the trade edition? The hardcovers. The hardcovers? Yeah. Where there'll be seven, seven, you know, seven issues in a row of, let's say, um, Swamp Thing or something. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, um, uh, but they're still doing well, aren't they? DC, no. Oh, have you seen the features? <laughs> <laughs> now Marvel's doing fine. Marvel's doing fine. But Marvel also now is owned by Disney, and Disney seems to make everything turn into gold. Yeah, yeah. but they were doing fine before Disney got Marvel. That's that's why they sold them for a billion dollars because they were doing so well. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it 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 you know. But I uh, I uh, uh, I so DC is it, 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 is it possible that DC may go out of business? Yes, they have less than two hundred and thirty employees, according to this. Wow! Wow! It, but, my they'll question. make they'll make movies. They'll make a Batman movie, but they won't publish a comic book for three fifty or something. Right. Yeah, but they didn't. Make, they made a Batgirl movie and they never released it. But they took it. They took the loss. Well, that's because it's a new company running the place. You know. Well, it's just Warner Discovery or whatever it's called. When you, but I mean, what does Discovery know about running a comic book company? What you did know? Warner Brothers know? Mm -hmm. Well, they were in the entertainment business at least. Is Discovery in the entertainment business? In their way, I believe they are. I mean, what are some of the big shows on Discovery? They're more documentaries, I think. How I Ate Your Mother. <laughs> I mean, what are they? What are they doing over there? It's nothing, you know. Um, when I heard Discovery bought them, it bothered me. It just bothered me. In case people don't know, uh, Discovery, who's Discovery? You know, it's the Discovery Channel. A few other channels they own. Uh, they bought up uh, 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 Warners and, and the whole, you know, uh, so they own, what, HBO, Warner Movies, all that stuff. What else do they own? Well, it'd be the music division too, right? Like Warner Brothers has the biggest music. I think they're the biggest music distributors in the world. Yeah, but are they? Is that was that part of the deal? Yeah, that that went with it. Yeah. Okay. But uh, you know, I mean, it it's just uh, they, they they they're trying to get rid of they're, they're stopping a lot of the stuff that they have on there, and also HBO Max is going to become. HBO Discovery. And they're going to unload a lot of the Discovery shows on HB on that channel. Yeah. Remember, there was a company that used to be a business called MGM, gone. It used mm -hmm. to be a company called Fox. It's part of Disney. You know, I mean, things changed. Well, things you know? changed, but I'm, and I understand that. But still, I mean, you know, 
I don't like, there are certain people I don't like to see owning hallowed organizations that I love, you know? And uh, I think Disney buying up Marvel and buying up uh, a bunch of other stuff, had, it was okay because they know how to handle that sort of thing, mm -hmm. you know? Um, they're good at that, but anyway. Well, so, you get Disney, take a racist owner, Walt, and, you know. Yeah, well, I mean, we won't, we won't get into that now, you know. Um, and he was, he was, it wasn't so much, he wasn't a racist as much as he was an anti-Semite. Yeah. Hated Isn't Jews. Isn't that the same thing, though? Yeah. What? Isn't he hated the same Jews. thing? What? Isn't being an anti-Semite just a type of racism? Well, I guess so, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but, you know, I mean, I don't know. I just, I, I just don't get what, what uh yeah but somebody like mgm it became a stock deal in the 60s you know where kirk kokori would buy it on monday sell it on tuesday well, buy it back on wednesday make you know I, well i remember when mgm stopped being a studio and started being a building on sunset boulevard they just took all their business and put it in a building and that was mgm the studio they sold off i can't remember maybe to sony at the time who did yeah but fox fox got sold off century yeah. city yep is that Columbia. studio still there yeah i imagine no century city's long gone it's it's office buildings century city but is is century 20th century fox the 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 sound stage is still there no Oh, really? They're gone. Oh, wow. Well, don't forget, most production moved to Europe. Studios went away. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, so, you know, whatever. And I, I, I was having a little discussion the other day with Michael Snyder, who's our alleged movie reviewer. Uh, and, and Alleged. Yeah. And we were, we were talking about um, and by the way, he likes House of Dragons or whatever. Figures. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, but anyway, so he he likes that. Uh, but we were talking about movie theaters, and he said, "Well, do you want to do the movies? Get back to doing the movies every week?" And I said, "Well, you know, there still aren't enough good movies coming out every week. Plus, let's face it, movie theaters are dead." You know, and he said, oh, no, I went to a movie theater the other day and it was packed. And I went, you went to a screening. You have no, <laughs> you have no idea what's going on in the movie theaters right now. And, and it, you didn't pay a penny. To begin, with, to begin with, in this whole period of time of COVID, everybody got used to getting their movies on, on streaming. streaming. Okay. Well, I told you, I went by the movie theater I usually go to near Costco, one car in the parking lot. Oh, wow. And what movie were they showing? Probably five of them. Well, no, they're five movies. I don't even know what they show are showing. One car in the parking lot. What time of day? Four o'clock. Wow. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I mean, people have gotten used to getting their, their films delivered to them in a different way. And the idea of the social is, I mean, yes, it's wonderful watching a movie with an audience. OK, a good comedy. Nice to laugh with other people. But we learned how to do it without those. Yeah, but wait a minute. So you're laughing with other people who are on their cell phones. They're chatting with each other. Yeah. And if you say something, they're going to pull out a gun. Well, and shoot. the other reason I don't miss movie theaters are the assholes who go yeah. to them. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, but I mean, it, it. I tried to tell them, I said, it's it's over for movie theaters. Forget it. Really it really is. It really is. I there thought they'd be dead by now. Now. It became television. You know, I mean, well, things, you but know. You see, what you, what you have at home is not television. It's a delivery system. Yeah. Okay. Think of it as a delivery system, because if it were television, there'd be nothing but bad series on it. <laughs> 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 you know, um, as a matter of fact, every now and then we see an ad for some network show. And we go, who's going to watch that? And I guess 
I guess there's an audience for it, but NBC, okay, next season is thinking of stopping their programming at 10 o'clock at night. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. They made the announcement they're going to stop it at 10 o'clock and let the local stations be able to do their newscast then. Mm. Well, well, Judy, and and oh, they yeah. want to move the tonight show to 11. I don't know if they're going to do that. Well, I, I heard that's what they wanted to do. Oh, it's 11? a possibility. Yeah. 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 It could be moving everything around. Yeah. 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 But, but the point is, they don't see any real value in over the air broadcast anymore. Mm -hmm. They'd rather you pay cheapest price possible, four ninety nine for Peacock. Mm -hmm. uh, right for Peacock. Well, and, that's the delivery system now. Yeah. It's four ninety nine a month. Everything, everything, everything's all a car. It's never four ninety nine for me because I don't want to buy it with commercials. You know. Uh, yeah. I mean, I can't imagine watching Hulu with commercials. I would drive me crazy. At least in the old days, I could record a show. Then I could play it back. Then when the commercials came on, I would speed it forward. You can't right. speed forward now. No. So I want mine with no commercials. And by the way, you can buy HBO Max now with commercials. Really? And well, you will be able to buy. Here's the, here's the company said, we'll never do this. We'll never do it. Netflix said they would Netflix. never run commercials. Come February, I think they're going to have a commercial tier. A cheaper, a cheaper division. Yeah, but it's still too expensive. It's nine ninety going to be nine ninety five a month with commercials. We're and as we've talked about, there's more stuff on Hulu to watch than there is on HBO Max. Well, Hulu uh, is um, becoming a much better, a much better. Great. Yeah, I really like Hulu. I do too. Yeah. I mean, they they the stuff they buy, the stuff they run. It's all, and then then you go to 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 Netflix, and it's really a bunch of just you know, crap. You know what it is? It's like a a, a, a cheap version of HBO. Is what it really is. I mean, HBO shows just have better quality. Even the bad ones have better. They've quality. always had better quality. Remember when they first came out? Yeah. Now that may all change with you know HBO Discovery, but you know what was it? It's not porn. It's HBO. It's not porn. <laughs> <laughs> you ever see that ad? This guy turned out. Yeah, it's the, very somebody funny. Saying to his mother, "Well, uh, mom, I, I uh, this is what happens. I uh, have this scene, and I'm making love to another guy, and he's making <laughs> love to me, and the mother goes." You're doing porn? Oh no, mom, it's HBO. <laughs> it's and then the whole porn. ad of the yeah. end of the ad read, it's not HBO. It's not porn. It's HBO. <laughs> you know. So. But uh, I, I gotta disagree with you about Netflix, too. I I like Netflix. Well, There's a couple it, things on Netflix that I still watch. But to begin with, the price is out of range yeah. with everybody else. Yeah. I just I cut myself down by five bucks a month because I decided I didn't want their 4K feed anymore. Mm. Everybody else is giving you 4K in their service. Paramount Plus at $9.95 a month. Uh, you know, HBO at 14 Disney's bundle, Disney. which gives you a bunch of things. It and gives you, and, and they don't charge you extra for 4K. Okay. Where does who where where's Netflix feel they can charge me for 4K? They should give well, it. Well, if to someone's me. gonna pay it, they're gonna yeah. charge you. And you know what I did the other day? I also canceled out my main service on my cable because I was getting 425 stations and we only watched three of them. Yeah, you know, and uh so we got rid of that. And also all the things with it, stars, I don't ever watch it. Epics. Epics, hardly ever watch it. And Showtime, which, hey, I could get, I'd like to have. But you know where I get it now? Over at Paramount Plus. Do they have I, I have it. I pay, I pay 50 bucks more a year, about $5 a month, a little less than that, four fifty a month. And I get Showtime. It was costing me $9.95 at the cable, you know. So I just been cutting back. I cut my cable bill down by fifty bucks. I'm going more. Huh? 
and we're going more. We're, we're, we're thinking of doing pulling the plug completely and going with Hulu TV Plus. I did that years ago. Yeah. And you don't, you get everything, right? Yeah, I get it. Like I said, on Hulu, on Netflix, on HBO Max, I get everything I need. Yeah. You're local. But also with Hulu, you get show, let's say, Ghosts, to start a name. No commercials. Yeah. yeah. Well, apparently this is boring, people, because we only got three people watching us right now. <laughs> well, it's Indigenous America Day. They're out, they're out having a parade. That's true. Paula can't come today because she was grading papers. She was grading papers? Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's an excuse. And I wonder where Mandy is in here today. It's a holiday. It's a holiday. She probably didn't even have to go into work. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, and then she could call us. It's a national <laughs> holiday. Yeah, there's no mail. Right. I walk out to the mailbox. But they did pick up the garbage in New York City. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a new thing now. Uh, they, oh, what? Yeah. Every Columbus Day, they pick up the garbage. Yeah. <laughs> It's a, well, the garbage is the mayor, but that, yeah. that's another story. Let, yeah. Let, let, yeah, let's give che Shecky now a good minute to talk about our mayor. Tell us about our mayor, Shecky. No, Alex, you have more to say about him than I do. <laughs> Wait a minute, I just say nice he's a piece of shit. <laughs> well, that just demonetized us. Anyway, <laughs> he's really terrible. This he's is a sorry. terrible mayor. I never understood why y'all voted for him. I didn't know. Well, who are you going to vote for? The Republican? Yeah. You know? And, and now we got a big thing coming up. We got the, 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 the governor here in New York is running against the, uh, uh, the idiot, the moron. What's his name? Zelnick or Zelder? Or Zelda. Zelda, who had, I, I'm going to call it, it probably isn't a phony shooting in front of his house last night. Oh, really? Oh. Somebody shot at his house. There was a shooting at the house, and his his children were there. Yeah, how old are they? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, but, but no. But what gets me is is I have a choice between this jerk and this woman who's uh, how do I put it nicely? Cunt. Fairly, fairly. <laughs> huh? Fairly Talk about crooked. demonetization. Goodbye, folks. <laughs> I said fairly crooked. I didn't say crooked. Fairly crooked? Okay, but anyway, Hokel is horrible. She's just terrible. Let's talk about the no bail thing. What do you mean no bail? No bail? The drug dealer gets arrested with drugs and money in his car. And the next day he's out because it's a no bail thing, the testing. Or he shoots up a car and they let him go because there's no bail. Or he goes into uh, Rite Aid and steals stuff right off the shelves and nobody yeah. stops him because they can't get him arrested. Also, um, the security guard doesn't want to get himself killed. No, I don't blame him. You know. Boy, he's probably being paid an hour. Yeah, well, right. Exactly. When I write aid in our neighborhood, everything has is empty and they have locks on everything. Uh, yeah. It, 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 I, I I asked the guy there, you know, the pharmacy, well, well, where's all the product on the shelves? He says, Oh, the, the, I said, Are you putting it in the back room or something? He says, No, it's all been stolen. So we haven't restocked it. He says, see that bunch of uh, toilet paper over there, that, uh, that tower of toilet paper, what used to be a tower of toilet paper? It was like two levels. He says, it used to be all practically to the ceiling. You know, he said, people come in, they steal because they're not going to get arrested now. And if they get arrested, no bail. See you later. The judge yeah. says, nice knowing you. Uh, you're, well, you're a good kid. Yeah, you're a good kidding. person. Yeah, yeah. You, you just stole something. You, you're going to come back for court, your court date, right? <laughs> sure, sure. I can be. I can be depended on. Yeah. You know, the guy who's got 57 arrests, and the judge lets him go. But anyway, so our mayor is not. Uh, but I, uh, when it comes to governor, I'm not even going to vote. Doesn't matter. But but you know, in my in this state, it always goes democratic. I'm not voting for anything that's, you know, that's worthwhile. So why should I vote? I don't want to have to vote for Kathy Hochul. 
Okay, but I'm not going to vote. Or you for can that. vote for the judge who is on the Republican, the Democrat, the conservative, and the liberal ticket. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, he he <laughs> is he going to win? No, I'm saying that <laughs> there are these judges who you've never heard of, but they're yeah. on every line that exists. That's yeah. how all of them work on the judges. They yeah. just have every yeah. line. You know well, what I, I mean? Just, yeah. Well, I just don't want to go to do uh, you know to to vote because I will feel guilty because then I get to all those and I don't know who any of those people are and I'm just like checking things because they look like they're a Democrat or something, you know, so. No, they're machine politicians. Yeah, voting machine politicians. Mm-hmm. Hey, listen, we've uh, we've spent a oh. Columbus Day together uh, and a slightly smaller group of people than usual, but, and Charlene, thank you so much for joining us again. We just like seeing you there, you know? Well, I did raise my hand one time. But did you? Wait a minute. What were you going to say then, quickly? Oh, when you were talking about video games, I was going to say my son, who's here, I mean, he that's per, pretty much all he does. If you need an expert, you could talk to my Joey. <laughs> well, yeah. Tell him to get a life, though, you know. He doesn't have to do it all the time. No, he how, much do, how much do I do it, Marjorie? All the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hear from the other room is bang. Bad language. I'm I'm stabbing zombies in the throat. Come on. <laughs> anyway, Mike Chisholm, thank you. Good Peace and love. Here. Can't wait to be there. Yeah, yeah. Have a nice time. Uh Edward Berger. That's oh, right. We'll get to you. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I always forget. See, <laughs> then I wait to the last and then I forget you. Okay. Yeah. Charlene, thank you. Len LaFrisco, we'll see you here next week. Yep, and we will find you a decent place to eat. I think we have a. I thought maybe Popeyes. How's Popeyes? <laughs> <laughs> I'm more of a KFC guy, but whatever. <laughs> well, there is a KFC in the neighborhood, but you know, or, Popeyes is better. Yeah, or we can take you to uh, uh, Ruth. What, what's the name of the place down the street? Uh, Ruth, the, Ruth. the waffles and the chicken. Ooh, chicken. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we could do that, oh, but you know that's it's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. We first moved here, huh? We no, we used to, well because it was right down the street, and it was good. I don't know what day some guy woke up and went, "What can I serve with waffles? How about <laughs> chicken?" Yeah, you know that guy was a genius, whoever he was. Well, Charlie was Wallace started, started with eggs. You've, you've had you've had chicken. waffles and chicken, right? Sure. Yeah. And Shecky, have you ever had waffles and chicken? Don't even bring them up. Oh, boy. Why shouldn't we bring them up? When I was in the emergency room for 10 hours, there was a pregnant young lady who sounded like it's going it, to let's let's leave the racism part out. <laughs> All she's talking about is chicken and waffles. <laughs> two hours. Well, do you like waffles, Shaggy? I could take them or leave them. If we served you waffles, you would eat them, right? Yes. With syrup and the whole thing, right? Yes. And then if all of a sudden we say, oh, and by the way, we also have some chicken here. <laughs> You'd probably want the chicken. It's but just what's the I want to know if that chicken is on top of the waffle. <laughs> What's the point? <laughs> there is no point. It's just chicken and waffles. Yeah. And that's it. Uh, thank you, Rick. Appreciate you. And then finally, ladies and gentlemen, Edward Berger, who will sign us off by saying, That's all, folks. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye, everybody. See Have you a next wonderful week, week everybody. Bye bye.